This is Pex, Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter 12, Immortal Flames. Alright, we're going to start off by running into those water barrels, which will cover us in the water to, in order to proceed through the fight. And we're just going to take care of this enemy. Alright, and let's proceed through. We're just going to douse ourselves with water, go through the fire. It's going to uh, to keep those enemies away, loot this corpse. And then there's gonna be a gunsman right there. Just wait till he shoots the exploding barrels. And uh, we're gonna uh, fight this one. Alright, I did. Took some damage, but it's no big deal. The next shrine is coming up pretty soon. And we're gonna fight this enemy now. Sorry if it took too long. But yeah, anyway, so just gonna do a little uh, example of what to do with the Stonewall Yokai. So again, uh, d depending on the color of his eyes, use the gesture, and then he will just disappear. And then just showing where the uh, Kodama is. There you go. Alright, so anyway, so we're proceeding through. And there's going to be a bunch of enemies right here, just constantly wave dash to the bridge. And on the bridge there is a Hot Wheel Yokai. And just keep going, go to the left. And then you'll see the next shrine. We're going to go inside this tower climb up the stairs and then there is a remnant right in front of us uh, we're gonna go to the right we're not going straight because the floor is a trap floor so I'm not gonna fall for that all right and then there is a remnant with an exploding barrel on its back to him I will cause fire damage to him and around him we're gonna shoot a couple of fire barrels right here to take care of this remnant and then just uh, waiting for those revenants to die and we're gonna fight this enemy with the hand cannon when he shoots his dodge and then take advantage of this constant attacking him. There we are. Right, we're gonna open this door let's keep going uh, before that there is a gunsman right here we're gonna shoot him down all right and then there you see that next Kodama all right, we're going to proceed further on. Um, I should have done something with that exploding barrel because uh, as soon as that hot wheel look guy comes, it takes some damage. So, yeah. Oh, that was, uh, managed to get out of that alive. So keep going, go to the right, and you'll find the next shrine right there. All right, so we're going to cover ourselves in the water uh, barrel so just to be safe and we're just proceeding on dodge these enemies or dodge through these enemies and then we're gonna lure this yokai right here take advantage climb up the ladder and I almost fell so don't do that uh, there's gonna be a couple of uh, firearm guards right there. Uh, we're only just going to take out one of them. There is another one that's literally right next to him, but he won't notice us if we try to go towards the gate. So yeah, again, we're just going to go to the gate, open it. Still doesn't notice it. Going to cover ourselves in water, dodge through the fire, and unfortunately uh, one of the enemies has saw me, so we're just going to take him out instead of 
uh, you know, being a sneaky way. And unfortunately, the next enemy sees us. So it gets a little pressure and difficult to fight two enemies at a time. So just finding off the to dodge and punish them by attacking them. And unfortunately he broke guard me. He uh, broke my guard. And uh, doing that constant dan dodging. Uh, allowed me to use elixir in time. Alright. And we're just gonna proceed through here. Go to the right. And then behind this door is a yokai. We're actually gonna ignore him since uh, he won't follow us uh, further on in the game. I right, just wave dash up these stairs. We're gonna open this door. And then take out one of the hand cannon enemies. Because right next to him is a water barrel that we're going to use. And then we're going to go through the fire, just hug the right side of the wall. Then keep going. Let's go up these stairs. And then we're going, and then within that door is the boss named Saika. Uh, and usual, Carnage, uh, Kekai, cover your dual sword with lightning since he is weak against him. Then as soon as the battle starts, immediately throw the shuriken at him, use sloth, then take him down with the final blow, then use weakness. When he does that teleport, just run uh, forward, and then while he's still flying, take advantage of the shuriken to knock him down, then use cross slash and finishing throw. And then, uh, again, as long as he's still in the air, just take advantage of using shuriken, cross slash, and final blow. Alright, and if you have done this correctly, congratulations, you have defeated Saika. Alright, so usual, uh, go to your inventory, check your weapons and armor, and if you have any prestige points, use them as much as you can. Alright, alright, we're gonna go to the blacksmith, and as usual, replenish your ammo, uh, buy armors and weapons if needed. Uh, but you can also go to the uh, the special inventory that's next to the where you buy the ammo. Uh, there's some special weapons, uh, armor, as well as a uh, high uh, caliber uh, ammo for cannons or uh, matchlocks. And then again, usual, um, use the weapons and armor to disassemble, forge, or soul merge. Alright, and then we're going to go to the shrine, go to offering, uh, sell any remaining armor and weapons for more Amarita. Alright, and then we're going to go to uh, Ready Jutsu, and we're going to replace a shuriken with the Water Talisman. And then we're going to go to level up, and we're going to increase our magic by three. All right, and then we're going to go to uh, change guardian spirit, and we're going to switch from the bunny spirit to the raccoon dog spirit, because on the next video, the mission that we're going to is called Sekigahara, and we'll be fighting two bosses. Alright, so this is a next level of Amarita farming. So we're going to the Tokai region and we are selecting the side mission, the giant uh, frog brawl. Basically you're fighting the giant frog boss, but you're fighting him in the underworld. And to me, I believe he's more easier to fight than the one in Iga Escape because he just stands there and he will only fight until you approach him. So this gives you the opportunity to be prepared. 
So go to dual sword, high stance, kick guy, carnage, cover your dual sword with lightning, uh, sloth, weakness, and then just start running towards him and running behind him. He usually does two attacks. One is a horizontal slash, the other one just a uh, piercer attack. Uh, just take advantage of that and opportunities to use water slash. Run back, run right behind him while he does a dive attack, and then again punish him with the water slash. You do a jump attack. Uh, roll back and then go for another water slash. And if you have done this correctly, you should get at least around 50,000 Emerita. You'll also be leaving weapons and armor lying around. Uh, and yeah, this is the next level of Emerita farming. There is another one higher than this, but that is further on in the game. But yeah, so far just use this. Uh, you can get, get at least like a few hundred thousand, uh, more than a hundred thousand Emeritas within like a few minutes of this. So also, since he leaves weapons and armor, uh, just go to the shrine, go to the offer, and then you can sell those for more Emeritas. All right, we're gonna be finding all the Kodamas in the Immortal Flame. Again, this is on New Game Plus, and I have defeated the enemies to show a better way to go through the Finding Kodamas. So, let's get this started by going to the left, go to the right, and on your right you'll find the first Kodama. Alright, finding the second Kodama. Let's proceed through here, go to the left, let's go through this river. And then go through this uh, destroyed house. Keep going straight. There is a revenant within around that corner. And then you'll find the next Kodama. So finding the third one. Uh, basically it's where uh, where I showed the Stonewall Yokai before. Uh, if you have if you're able to uh, you know, be able to do the gesture. Go, uh, he'll go away and then onto your left you'll find the next Kodama alright so for the next one just go straight go to the right uh, keep wave dashing towards the bridge uh, and then onto the left where the flames are just go through there hopefully you are still uh, covered in uh, water and then onto the left side under the bridge you'll find the Kodama right here alright so for the next one Go through the flames. Go through here. Go inside the tower. Just climb up the stairs. And then you'll see the revenant right there. We're just going to take care of him real quick. Right. And then we're just going to go here. Go through that door going and then to your left you'll find the next Kodama. Alright and then for the next one right where the uh, Hot Wheel Yokai was uh, let's climb up this ladder and then jump down here and then keep going and then to your right you'll find the next Kodama. Alright, so we're going to jump down here, we're going to go to where we were before. And instead of going to the ladder, we're going to go to our left. Keep going, and then when you see where the third shrine was, just, uh, yeah, just keep going straight as you see. And then jump down. You might take some fall damage, it's not a problem. And then behind this rock, you'll find the next Kodama. And finding the final Kodama, just go through here, go to the right, and then go to the left, and then proceed through here, and then you'll find the final Kodama. Congratulations, you have found all the Kodamas. Now let's get to the nearest shrine. Alright, so once we get to the nearest shrine, we're going to go to our blessings, which is to our left. And then we're gonna find, and we're gonna look at how many uh, Kodamas we have in each blessing. And hope this video has helped you out.